The Singapore Armed Forces has enforced a compulsory temperature-taking regime for soldiers. It aims to stem heat injuries by keeping those with body temperatures above 37.5 degrees Celsius out of training. It's the newest measure in a safety regime to keep soldiers fighting fit. Singapore citizen soldiers often push their limits during national service. When the mercury rises, dehydration, heat exhaustion and heat stroke may result. To prevent such heat injuries, a safety regime requires troopers' body temperatures to be measured and recorded before they tackle high-intensity activities like fitness tests or obstacle courses. The Defence Ministry said the precaution flags early warnings of possibly unwell soldiers before any strenuous training. It added that overall, heat injuries have seen a downward trend comparing 2013 with the year before. An individual soldier who may be unwell may then say, no, I'm fine, let's push on with it. But with the temperature taken from a thermometer, it says everything. So he's, if he's out for that moment, he's out for that moment. So we will bring down the level of injury. National Environment Agency data show Singapore's average yearly temperature rising 0.25 degrees Celsius per decade since the 1940s. It means soldiers have been training in warmer conditions over the years. They are constantly instructed to hydrate themselves by drinking water and guidelines for commanders inform them what to do when the heat is on. At the bottom, code green indicates temperatures below 30.9 degrees Celsius, where heat injury risk is low. Troops work 45 minutes at a stretch, followed by 15 minutes rest. This work-rest cycle changes as temperatures rise. At the highest code black category, above 33 degrees Celsius, heat injury risk is very high. Troops work 15 minutes at a stretch, followed by 30 minutes rest. Commanders can also opt to delay or postpone training. Observers note that the safety measures shouldn't dilute training realism. What we are doing does not mean that we are creating soft soldiers. No, it was never meant to be. But on the other hand, we take a very conscious effort to understand the limits of people. And we can always achieve realism in many ways of either simulators or in the prolonged activity exercises. The military has also put in place a system of colour-coded wristbands to mark out soldiers who may need more care and attention. Those who wear the wristbands are individuals who are asthmatic or may have suffered heat injuries in the past.